Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Stormblood. We've had a nice nap on the couch over here. I've also taken the liberty of attuning to all the Aetherites in town. Just for convenience sake. So, what do we got now? What's our plan? Well, that's kind of what we've already done. Oh, she's so happy. She's like, I get to go shopping! Now, I really actually like this because remember way back in the day where we actually find out he's an artist because we create a thing posted for Thancred. But we don't do it for anybody else. And I always thought that was just kind of st really stupid. So not only do they have the foresight to actually, you know, have him do this while we're along the way. Like, we need to find our friends and I'm sure along the... The, the journey he was bored anyway, so it's like you might as well sketch if you got a sketchbook with you. But I also like that you actually get to to, to, to see it. And my, my only question is, obviously they look different in the photograph than they do on the in-game model. So do we chalk this up to um, just artist style or limitations of the game engine? I don't know. You guys decide. Well, I did. I, I just saw it on screen. <laughs> so yeah, it's actually a key item, so you can look at it whenever the heck you want. See? That's neat. But I really like how she's, she's like so happy about that. Which aetherite is this? She's like, damn, you good! As if, uh, like, I, I can't read right now. <laughs> like, where am I going? That's an interesting, you know, prospect, you know, that apparently she thinks he's good enough to, you know, make money, you know, make, make some money off of it. Which, I kind of wish the game actually would bring that, I understand why they don't, because it's, it's not a super important plot point. But it would be nice if there was, there was a minor plot point about, you know, our funds are limited here, and, and we have the, the take of the offices. And I'm sure if there's something we absolutely needed, you know, Hancock, you know, would do his, his best to supply us with it. But... At the same time, like, we are gonna need money to, you know, buy food and repair our equipment and other services and whatever. So it would be nice if it was just brought up just as, just as an aside somewhere. Not a, not a big plot point or anything, but just, a, just an aside about, you know, in the event we need some money, you know, could, could we literally sell him off, you know, for, for an artist's commission or two just to make a couple bucks to get what we need in in the short term, you know? Like I said, I, I understand why they don't, but it, it would just be a little nice touch. Have you seen the people in these portraits?
Well, you don't have to tell me if they're patrons or not. You can always just say, you know, have you seen them walking across town? Perhaps. Like, I understand, you know, we're, 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 no, some, we're no form of foreign government or law enforcement or anything like that. So I can understand why you don't necessarily want to divulge this information. I respect that. But we don't necessarily know, need to know, have they been here? We're just asking, you know, like, maybe, have you seen them? Have you heard talk about them? In your personal time. It's okay if the answer's no. We, we, we know we're somewhat trying to find a needle in a haystack over here. It's alright. How are you? You know, considering they made a big deal about, yeah, let's let's go question people at the tavern. Surprisingly, this is the first time we've actually properly visited this place outside of just walking in the door. And I find that kind of funny. Like, why isn't Tataru, like, here in the background or anything? Like, I know we just gave her a job at, uh, to, to basically hold down the fort and get us some new supplies. But I, I would find it really funny if she was just sitting here in the background here. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's kind of how we know these people, is because they came and took refuge in our, in our little neck of the woods. I mean, she doesn't know that, but... Okay, so no secrets. I get it. Oh, that's even better! Thank you! You're being pretty damn helpful here. Can't tell us where they went after that, but we know at least they have been here and they have attempted to cross, so that's good. See, isn't it so nice that we're armed with photographs? Well, technically, they're sketches, but... Shh. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen these two people? Mm, uh, oh, okay. Mm, why, why would you... See one, but not the other. This seems kind of a bit odd. Hmm. Boo. Hello. Looking for my friends. May have you have seen them? So, does that mean if I pack myself in a box, I, c I can mail myself, like old school? Maybe? That, that would be pretty sweet. Imagine if we could secure- I mean, it would be a pretty crappy journey. Secure passage, either both either to Kugane or to the Ruby Sea, just by packing ourselves in a box and just shipping ourselves. That would be pretty sweet. I mean, Tataru is kind of tiny. Maybe, maybe, maybe we could shove her in a box in and put her across and have her tell us how the journey went. Maybe? No. No, that, that's too cruel, I think.
Hello, can you tell me what the spice trade is all about? Huh? Uh, maybe? Um, that was a bust. Why has nobody seen Yugiri? Hopefully nothing has happened to her. Like, did, did, did they just split up just the way Lisa and I did? And maybe she spoke to a, uh, she spoke to different captains instead? I don't know. Maybe we'll see how, how Lisa's doing. I'm gonna, I'm, we're just gonna hope that's the case. So if we split up, it makes sense that they would split up and cover more ground that way. Oh, I guess that was a bust then. So yes, we actually get the sketch as a furnishing item, which I find is just to be pretty cool. We actually get to keep it. That's nice. Maybe we can put a nice frame on it. Wait, what? Sure. Um, what? So, yeah, apparently he's not a fisherman. He's literally a fishman. Well, we just had talking rats that we had to save someone from back home. Well, I'm glad we came up here then. Well, well, what's the price? D do you want my money? Do I need to beat somebody up? Do do I need do I need to traffic some cocaine or something? Well, what is the fare then? Well, apparently you just established we gotta pay guilt. Well, how much? How do you even know where Eorzeans? Amber, this is a port. They take all kinds of currency here. I mean, I mean, I suppose to him there there is a rapid currency exchange, so. Regardless of what kind of money we give him, money is money, and he can exchange it for whatever he needs here, here in this city, but... Kind of a little awkward for them to, for the game to phrase it explicitly as Gil, even though he has no way of knowing that Eorzean Gil is, uh... The Prophet. Unless, unless every currency is Gil, and just, just Eorzean Gil is just, you know, our specific version of, say... You know, the dollar, you know, like you have like American dollars and you have like Canadian dollars, things like that. Maybe it's something like that. I don't know. Is it ever actually brought up at any point? Like, is everything just. just Gil or do they have our other names for currency? I don't know if that's ever brought up. Some, somebody in the comments, cor correct me if I'm just completely talking about out my butt here.
Okay, so nobody has seen you, Gary, except the fish guy. Okay. We don't even know what price he asked for! And also, we never actually discussed how much money we even had to spend in the first place, so... I mean, you, you get a point, maybe we were a bit too eager to, to uptake on this offer, but it's not like we, we actually sat down and, and discussed where where our no deal line was or anything like that or what we were willing to do you know should we need to to stretch that line a bit maybe That's a very good point, Lise. Like, at this point, we, we, ha we have to secure passage across the sea somehow. Even if we're, we're being utterly betrayed at this point, at least it's a foot in the door, you know? It's like, what else, what else, what other options do we have left? It's not like we're sitting here and discussing them right now, are we? No, we're not, so... I mean, just, just like we dealt with at the Siren Song Sea, it's like, well, we're kind of stuck in the middle of nowhere, so the only thing we can do is just follow where the trail leads and just deal with whatever comes our way, you know? You know, why can't Tatara come on an adventure with us? You know, we always leave her behind. I mean, I know she's mostly content with that, but... Yeah, at least, no punching! All right, I know you really want to do that, but no punching. Yeah, we don't want to repeat of what happened in Ishgard where, you know, a day and a half into town and we always we and we find ourselves, you know, arrested and and charged with heinous crimes. Special supplies. Why did you give them to Alize then? Huh? Why didn't you give them directly to me? Why aren't they sitting on the table? So, are you saying they're uh, not against bribery? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you're, 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 you're tiny enough to hide behind a pillar and shove into a wall somewhere. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna, we gotta go catch ourselves a fish, apparently. Alright, well, nobody says anything different. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I know that glow. 
I mean, at least I find it at least to find it amusing that the story is being pretty explicit that yeah, this is a trap and we know it. He's late. Endless and most sincere apologies to you and yours, yes, yes. This way, this way, quickly now. I love how he has to walk in a circle to turn around. Enough. Where are you taking us? Where is the ship? This ship, this ship. I'm so very sorry to inform you, yes, yes. Long before was it pledged to another. To me, to me, these ones are for Doma. Well, we saw this coming. Ugh. I knew it couldn't be this simple. Nothing personal, yes, yes, just business. Then business is about to take a turn for the worse. Angry. Now we just committed a crime. Come on, let's find a way out of here. So, yeah. So does that mean these guys get arrested too? You know, they're 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 openly fighting out in public, so Te technically they should be in trouble too. They they they, they drew steel first. Self defense. Self defense. Thankfully Aflano is not far behind and he's up here. With Obsidian Kirby doing all the heavy lifting, of course. I mean that thing is OP as crap, but Carby, why am I tanking this guy? You silly. Well, now we're really in trouble. <laughs> Possibly an option. Look, there's one on the point right there. Let's just go. Let's just go. We'll do. We'll deal with the Confederacy when we get there. We are in so much hot water right now. Taru, how did you have the foresight to bring smoke bombs? Like before you knew we were gonna get betrayed here. I mean, that is some incredible foresight, but... All 
Alright, so, yeah. We have to run from the cops. I love how, like, instead of just the regular zone thing, they have another whole, the whole different one there. That's pretty funny. Uh -huh, you can't see me. You can't see me. So yeah, we gotta find the bazaar. Thankfully, these guys have crappy lines of sight. But thankfully, we have a bunch of smoke bombs, so we can just barrel right through these guys. Nothing to see here, people. Nothing to see here. Everything is totally fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. We'll be fine. What? Who are you? Wait, wait, wait. Where is Alize? Where's Alpha now? Where did they go? Uh, uh do we, do we want to trust this guy? I mean, I suppose we have no choice. This place is swarming with the rental cops. Oh, hi guys. Friend, friend? When, when did you meet this friend? What, what is going on? What is going on? Why do I have a talking turtle talking to me? I mean, I've seen Stranger all nowadays, so I shouldn't be too surprised, but... What? Like... This is a weird day. Stay hidden and quiet. Understood? Oh god, you're not gonna mug us, are you? Uh, we're, we're broke? Why do I have a feeling I got myself in even more trouble now? Clear the road! Clear the road! Dude, just walk around him. You there! Korjin! We seek four foreigners. One, a brutish woman carrying an unconscious Namazu. Have you seen them? You saw nothing. Four foreigners, you say? Ah, yes! Very rude they were, making no apology as they barged past. They went that way, I think. Many thanks, good sir. With me, they cannot have gone far. All is well. The Sekisei Gumi will not return this way for some time, I should think. You are of the East Aldenard Trading Company, yes? Come with me. I know a safer way. Oh, God. At least, God, they're all looking at each other like... Should we or should we not? <laughs> You are returned. And with guests, I see. Yeah, and a couple warrants on our heads. Sorry about that. Our meeting went about as well as expected. We've brought the Namazu who thought to betray us. When he wakes up, we'll see what he knows about Yugiri and Gazetsu. Well done, you. When I saw the Sekisei Gumi out in force, I did begin to worry, but I see my fears were misplaced. 
Actually, if it weren't for Soroban, we might not have gotten away. Uh, when, when did we learn his name? What? When did this happen? Twas my pleasure. Yet I must ask, Soroban, why would you deceive the Sekasegumi to help us, foreigners of whom you know naught? Why out of the kindness of my heart? Is what I would like to say, but my motives are not so pure. Oh? I chanced to witness your meeting with Hancock at the tavern and saw an opportunity. An opportunity? Like many, I came to Kugane as a trader to make my fortune. Kojin of the Red may serve the Empire as mercenaries, but Kojin of the Blue walk a different path. Regretfully, most here would rather not meet our gaze, much less do business. So I seek the custom of those less predisposed to dismiss us outright, namely the East Aldenard Trading Company. Oh, shots fired! Quid pro quo, is it? Well, there is no denying that we owe you a debt. What say you, Hancock? Will you consider doing business with our entrepreneurial friend here? Rest assured, Master Sorobin, that in matters of trade, the company does not discriminate. We would be honored to hear your proposal. I promise you will not regret this, good sir. Ah, yes. You sought passage across the Ruby Sea, did you not? I have a ship you can use. Well, how bloody convenient. You do? Well then, far be it from us to refuse. You have our deepest thanks. And you mine. Oh, you are such a bro, man. Yeah, Sorban seems like a pretty good dude overall. Like, he openly admits, yeah, I'd like to say it was out of the goodness of my heart I helped you, but I totally have ulterior motives. But here, I also have a ship you can use, so... How about that? So, uh, where's the Namazu? Did we put him on a couch somewhere? Or maybe we should, you know, not break the law. Like, we did kind of do that. You know? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> what's gonna await us when we actually walk outside this place? Like, or is it just a game of hide? You know, like we're all treating it like this is a big game of hide and seek. You know, we make it to home base, and therefore, you know, we got off scot free. You know, they know who we are. You know, they they know we're foreigners. We're not exactly hard to pick out in a crowd. So, but I guess that's a problem we're gonna have to sort out another day. So, thank you for watching, my friends, and I shall see you next time.